Hello everybody, Ted Rafter here and welcome back to some more Starbound. This is episode number 9 of my beta version Let's Play and let me load the game without wasting any more time because for today the plan is a little bit of tutorials. Yes, you get it right, some tutorials with the Drafter in Starbound. I will show you some of the cool stuff you can do in this game and first, first thing first, yeah, keep calm and scratch, probably. So the first thing in the agenda is item repair, item repair. So as you can see here, my diamond pickaxe is a little bit used. There is one of the five levels missing. I hope you can see it on the YouTube, maybe on the maximum resolution you can. So. There's one bar, one bar missing. So what you can do to repair your pickaxe, it's take just regular ore. In this case I'm using gold ore because it gives good results. I mean you don't want your diamond pickaxe to run out and be destroyed completely. So you take your ore. I'm not sure if diamond ore will be better, but gold is cheaper and it works just fine. So click with the right mouse button on the gold door and you see you will have it on your mouse cursor like this. Go over the diamond pickaxe, yes, like so, and then just click again the right mouse button. Ta-da! Item repair! It gave me one bar, uh, almost one full bar. I mean the item is not fully repaired but I hope you can see the new uh, pickaxe with the new durability filled up and that's cool because you don't want to craft a whole new set of pickaxe to get your diamond pickaxe back so that's how you repair your item cool pretty cool second in the agenda is steel bar and armor so I'm taking off my silver set over here I'm also taking off the cut high glasses because I hope I will not need them. And let's go over the metalwork station. Yep. So let me show my inventory here on the right and the metalwork station on the left. So you will need steel bar. You will need the silver armor set you probably already have if you don't just craft one follow one of my previous video and I will show you how to craft a silver armor set now you scroll down into the metal workstation and you go where the sparrow loin cloth so I want to craft a set made of, of steel bar this is a cool set, I think. It has a lot of stats. This is 6 defense and 3 sun, uh, let's say, heat protection. The helm is a 35 energy, 9 protection and 5 heat. And the breastplate is 35 life hurt, hertz, 15 defense and 8 sun uh, heat protection. So you will need a total of 65. Is it write that is it correct 20 no it's oops, 20 plus 35 is 55 plus 12 well whatever 67 gosh I made a mistake great way to start a tutor tutorial so let's go into my locker grab some more uh, iron bars craft two more of them sorry about that guys I'll be there super soon so that's cool let's put the steel bar back let's go back to the metal craft station and start all over again good so sparrow loin cloth 12 plus 20 is 32 plus 50 is 62 whatever uh, there's Two kind of men in the world, the man with the one who can count and the one who can't. Right. So let's go and just craft it. 
Sparrow Long Cloth, cool. I also equipped it. Sparrow Helm, and as you can see, I'm using the silver set. And voila! My newly crafted Sparrow set. And I have lost some of my heart because it gives you uh, 35 hertz. Wait, you can see. Now you can. 35 hertz uh, hit points. Cool, that's cool, and it also looks good on the avian uh, character. So I will not have to wear my cat high glasses anymore because the silver armor was just awful in my opinion. So here it is, in all its glory, the sparrow set of armor. I'm getting pretty hungry. So next on the agenda, let's go to the crafting table. Let's scroll down. I'm not sure. Oh, iron bar. I need two more iron bar. Boink, boink, boink. And the boink. Because I want to craft this vanity item, which is also useful, I think. It's the lantern stick. I think I acquired this schematic just caving during one of my caving expedition. I probably destroyed one of these items, or just picked it up, or just I don't know what happened. By the way, I have it in my regular, regular crafting table. It's probably here as well in the metal work. Let's see. Materials? No, it's not here. So let's go on the crafting table again. 500 pixels, 10 unrefined wood, and 15 iron bar. Craft it. And as you can see, that's super cool. It will give you lightning, light in the dark. I'm pretty sure it goes into the back uh, slot, equipment slot. I want to try this during nighttime, which is super cool. Next, I want to show you the 3D printer again. And I got this. I went into the wiki on the internet and looked for this item, pixel compressor. And I believe you can do it with uh, the next tier crafting table. I have no idea why it's here. It's probably a bug. So uh, I'm sorry about this, but it's a bug. So anyway, I'm going to make it because it's beta. So uh, developers, if you're looking at this, there's a bug. I got this item without knowing why. Please fix it. But let me craft it first. <laughs> Okay, pixel compressor. So what this guy does is, can I fit it here? Oh, dang it, I can't. It's a pretty massive object. So um, I have to find a place where to put it. Let's see if I can put it here for the moment. Uh oh, I destroyed all the items inside of it. <laughs> Sorry. I'll put my locker up there. Uh, just give me a second. Good, we are back. Uh, pixel compressor. Yeah, what this bad guy does is converting pixels into voxel. 100 pixels compressed into a voxel. 40% of pixels are lost during the compression process. Can be refined into 600 pixels. So, the deal is you can store this stuff into your storage, and I will show you, but you lose 40% of them. Now, assuming that you can die a lot in Starbound and you lose 30% of your pixels, this seems to me a pretty good deal anyway, especially when you have a lot, a lot of pixels. So as you can see, you can store these items, so you will not lose them when uh, you die. But for the sake of science, I'm gonna refine this bad guy over here into the refinery and show you that I will get 600 pixels. Here you go. Uh, that's cool about this. Um, next, this will be a shorter episode, I believe. It's a kind of a tutorial, so let's go down into my man cave. Did some renovation here. I put some glass pane, wind, uh, wooden glass pane. You made them out of glass and wood. And over here, I planted my carrots. They are not fully grown. See, I'm clicking the mouse button and you can't harvest them. 
Their growth rate is pretty slow. I hope I can catch it on camera, but I'm not sure about it, so forgive me if it doesn't happen. I put Iron Door over here because I just died while just standing here, AFK waiting for the carrots to grow. I don't know what killed me, but Wooden Door, Iron Door, you know, pretty solid iron. So let's go over the crafting table and Let's uncheck materials available, because I just happen to have, let me show you over here, two wheat in order to create one bread and craft it. And then with this bread and the carrots, carrot bread! How cool is this? A loaf of carrot bread, let's be honest, it's just bread shaped cake. Whatever, it's good, it's amazing. And that's how you make carrot bread. Now I'm wondering, I don't know, if this kind of food also gives you some kind of uh, buff, power, whatever it, you can call it. But since I am getting pretty hungry, I'm gonna eat the carrot bread. And that's how it goes. Cool! It fills you up completely. It gives you some kind of... Uh, this could be burn resistance. Whoa! -ho! You're super fast! You are super fast! So that buff over there was some kind of uh, speed effect. Now I get myself hurt by these guys and yes, I heal, I'm healing. So carrot bread, cool stuff, it's a buff food. Good if you have to fight some kind of boss or rough battle. Keep in mind carrot bread, speed buff and regeneration for a few seconds. There was nothing into my inventory screen over here or over here under my bars that showed me um, the percentage of this regeneration and buff. So you just have to figure it out how it lasts, guys. Uh, last thing I want to show you is by night time, my lantern uh, stick, how it works into the in night time. So I'm going to stand over here and wait for the night time and here we go night is approaching as you can see from my temperature meter and looks like the lantern sticks works perfectly it's lightning the area around me so you will not be anymore in the dark that's the perfect... Oh, there are monsters around me. You, that's a perfect accessory for the YouTuber. No more dark videos. Pretty cool stuff. And this monster will grant some nice experience. So, I mean pixels. So, guys. I uh, will get geared up for next episode. I'm gonna need a lot of coal. Because I want to find out what it, what this tech slots about. I want to find one of these tech out in the universe. Uh, now there is a pretty big post on the uh, Wikipedia with location containing chests uh, with tech slot with tech technologies that you can use. And the carrots didn't grow. Damn it! So I'll get geared up off camera, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time for a great interstellar adventure. Until then, have a nice and great day and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao!